Hey ghouls, Terry Kruger, the sweetest psychopath you'll ever meet, and welcome back to my channel. Back. Like I said, I was going to make a video using all the makeup that I got in the Jeffree Star mystery boxes, so that's what we're going to go ahead and be doing today. Of course, I'm going to use like foundation shit from other places. Is the Mystery Frost, uh, Soul Sucker, and the Mini Jawbreaker palette that did come in with this. And I also am going to be using Crystal Kiss Gloss. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start by using uh, a lip liner to kind of just create a little crease right here with Purple Punch right here. Ooh, this is looking cute. So who else is excited for the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collaboration? Girl, I am so excited. That packaging is everything, and I'm not gonna lie, I actually really did like the first packaging they saw, which was like that white striped spiral thing. I thought that was pretty cool, but I think I liked it because um, it reminded me a lot of like this old Marilyn Manson album that was released by like an ex-band member. It was called The Spooky Kids. It was called Dune Buggies and Chocolate Cow, I believe. But it had a lot of old Manson demos on it, and they were like really, really good songs. Um, but eventually the album got pulled off the market because Manson sued the guy. But I actually still have mine somewhere around the house. Somewhere. I hope. <laughs> but it was a really cool album. I still have it. It even came with a DVD of like old concert footage. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so at the demo of the Shane Dawson palette, it reminded me of that album, except the Manson one was black and green. I don't know, I think that's why I liked it so much. Um, but when he came out with the actual one, that fucking black packaging with the pyramid, girl, that was everything. I'm so fucking excited for it. Like, I've been watching Shane Dawson for years, and it's so cool to see how his videos have changed from like his sketch comedies to like his conspiracy theories to his documentaries. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna take this flathead brush, and let's dip into the color Oral. <laughs> this is really over my lid. Ooh, bitch, look at that. Hot fudge. I actually love contouring with this color a lot. It's very close to the one I've mentioned before, um, Castle from Sugar Pill, and that color got, like, I guess discontinued. And I was so upset because I love contouring with that color, especially for, like, drag. And then when this palette came out and I saw it had a very, like, similar color, I was like, all right, I got a backup, so I don't need to worry. <laughs> oh my god, before filming this video, I, like, totally almost had, like, a fucking panic attack. So I was like looking and looking for all the products that I got in the mystery box and I could not find them at all and I started panicking so I was like oh my god I threw it away because I remember throwing the boxes away and immediately I was kind of like maybe I was like in a hurry and I forgot to check the boxes or I don't know what and I fucking threw the boxes away so for like a good couple hours I honestly thought like I totally lost everything I bought. Um, and I just threw a hundred and what sixty dollars away. I don't remember how much I paid for the two boxes But anyways, I was kind of like, oh my god. I was so fucking upset. So as I was just sitting here like Dwelling uh, watching reruns of Desperate Housewives on Hulu um, It's it, so I remember that wait I said I was gonna film this video So I put all of it in a separate little like makeup bag and then I went to go open up that makeup bag and BAM It was all right there. And I was so fucking relieved I was actually more upset that I lost <laughs> that I thought I lost this gloss in the mystery highlight because I was like bitch I really wanted those and they were fucking <gasps> Gone or so I thought but I found it. I could stop bitching now <laughs> Get the color bubblegum that makes me laugh because the term bubblegum also means like when you're doing drag and if your tuck kind of comes undone and like your balls pop out of the side, you call it your bubblegum. So every time I use this color bubblegum, it just kind of makes me giggle like a fucking child because I think of balls popping out of the side of your tucky pen. <laughs> Ooh, which doesn't feel good, honestly. It is really, really uncomfortable. Like TMI, oh my god, one time I was doing a show and I guess I didn't like snatch my gap on right or whatever gap is a thing you use for tucking and drag and i was performing and i was doing this like cute little thing i kicked my leg up to death drop and as i did i totally felt like <laughs> my panties go to the side and my tuck slightly pop out but luckily i was wearing like this big ass fluffy tutu dress so it covered everything but i was like bitch if i was in one of my little hoe outfits um everyone would have saw my candy, and that would have not been cute. <laughs> Gross. So just a quick, like, I'm gonna go to the office and then um, commit a murder and then go home and make dinner for the family. Look, and I'm looking for it. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some of my roll lash mascara. I always buy the mini ones now because I feel like when I use the full size for too long, it kind of starts to irritate my eyes. So I'm trying this thing out where I'm just buying the mini ones so I use them quicker than I would the bigger ones so maybe they don't irritate my eyes. I I don't know, let's see. I'm on my first bottle and it's actually lasting me a pretty long time too. So uh, we'll see. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and finish up my mug. And then I'll go ahead and highlight and do the lipstick from the box um, after all that. Bam, and this is almost the finished look. <laughs> I went ahead and added um, some Orange Crush, I believe is the name of the orange uh, shade in the palette. I added that in the corner. And it was funny, as I was putting on my lashes, um, we are using the Jawbreaker palette, and I use the style in Candy from and from and, and I used the style Candy from NB Lash & Co. And I didn't even know that was the name of the style of these lashes, but girl, look how cute they are. They are so fluffy and comfortable. I can't even feel them on my face. And they're super full. I do like these a lot. So I did line my lips with Stone from MAC. I kind of want to use like a lighter color shade because I want to get the true color of Soul Sucker. It does look like black with some gold in it. It's really fucking pretty. So let's go ahead and put this on and let's see what it looks like. Everyone says it smells like something, but... Oh, okay. It smells like candy corn. I'm almost sure it's candy corn because I was eating candy corn yesterday and this is what it smelled like. <laughs> So let's go ahead and see what it looks like. That is honestly some chunky ass glitter. Hopefully it doesn't uh, cake up and look weird. But more on the sheer side, but you know, I'm not mad. This is really fucking pretty. Add just a little more. And usually when I add a second layer and it's kind of sheer, I mostly just tap it. I'm gonna go ahead and put the gloss on top of it, but before we do that, I wanna let it live in the moment for a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the Mystery Frost. Now, I saw a lot of people like online when they first saw it because it has a little black dots. People were like, is that mold? I was like, are you guys fucking idiots? Obviously, it's not mold. Like, honestly, right away when I saw it, it was like, yeah, it's spooky. Like, the whole thing is like discolored and everything. Like I said, the bitch has hyperpigmentation and some sunspots. But she looks cute. Um, let me see. Oh, should I swatch it first? Should I swatch her first? Or should I just go ahead and apply her? We'll do both. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna swirl it all around since it has multiple colors. And I'm gonna place her right here. She's looking stunned. Ooh. Is that picking up on camera? I sure hope it is, because bitch, that is looking fucking cute. That is like gold, but not too gold. I'm living for this. Ooh. I'm gonna put some more on the other side, swirling her all around again. And yeah, see, like the black kind of disappears like over the first few swatches, so you're not gonna worry about getting like a black highlight on your face or whatever. Not that I even cared. <laughs> now I was like to put my highlight above my brow and right here at the end. Brush I actually really fucking love this Fenty highlight brush because it just hugs my um, brand new cheekbones that I paid for and I'm living for it. Just kidding. I did have cheek filler a while ago. Um, I honestly think it's kind of faded a lot, but since then too, um, I've also had like a sugar thread left and what that does is kind of like sculpts your face out. So these actually are my cheekbones. Um, they were just hidden under all that fat I had in my face. And now that it's snatched back and sculpted, I look good. Like bitch, I'm all for like getting work done if it's what you want to do. Like don't do it for other people or because you're influenced. Like I was watching too in the Jeffrey series with Shane Dawson, how they're kind of like telling Morgan that she needs it, which is such a fucked up thing to do. Um, the only reason you should get any type of filler or work done is because you want it, not because, you know, it's been pressured on, by, on you by other people. That's so disgusting. Like, the same thing with like, getting tattoos or piercings. Like, do it for yourself. Like, I love being plumped in the lips, in my cheeks. I love getting Kybella to shrink my fucking face. And I love getting tattoos and I love getting piercings. So, yeah, do it for yourself. Oh, bitch, I swatched on my hand. Oh, let me stop talking and... I'm gonna put it right here. Oh! 
that is so fucking pretty girl you know what i'm actually happy i kind of missed out on the big box and ended up getting these small boxes because bitch i really like this highlight and i'm fucking obsessed with this lipstick the only thing i missed out on was possibly getting like a neon yellow tracksuit that i kind of wanted i would never have worn it like as one piece that's too loud for me i would have probably worn it like individually and maybe not even in public i probably wouldn't have worn the pants in public <laughs> but either way oh I'm actually pleased with this. I got, I really like this highlight. Girl, she was definitely gonna stay on the top of my shelf. I fucking love this. Now this is Crystal Kiss. Like I said, I always put a gloss on top of a liquid lipstick because I don't like my lips being too dry. Although this feels fine. Like it's not, it's dried down, but it doesn't feel like sticky, tacky, or too dry, which I actually like. So I might actually be able to wear this. Maybe I'll put like a light, like, lip chap or whatever under it <laughs> i've always i always make fun of people who say lip chap and say it like ironically and now it's like become a permanent part of my vocabulary calling it lip chap and i don't even remember like how to say it <laughs> so stupid it's probably like the most simple thing i totally forgot how to say lip chap correctly karmix no that's a brand anyways i'm gonna go ahead and put crystal kiss on she is gorgeous and like i always do i only put it in the cupid's boat and on the bottom so oh bitch the like color of this gloss is fucking everything i would have never bought this on my own because i thought it was too light in the swatch videos that he did but here bitch honestly this is pretty and i don't know if it's just look at this because i'm wearing it on top of a dark lipstick but it reminds me of oil slick lip gloss from smashbox a black one with like this type of glitter in it the bitch has totally brought the look together even more because it has purple my eyes are purple and Damn, she's fucking cute. Now, let's see, I'm gonna get a little too up close and personal with the camera again, just so you guys can get a better look at this highlight. Here I am, uh, up too close and personal, but check out this highlight. Hopefully you guys can see it. The gloss looks stunning. The eyes and everything, I feel cunt. <laughs> Ooh, so I really fucking love this. And like I said, bitch, um, I'm all beat and ready to go out. And I'm actually just going to take this off because I'm going to go to the gym as soon as I'm done filming. <laughs> but of course, I'm going to like swear and take a lot of pictures. So I guess it wasn't for nothing, you know? But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me. Um, um, if you want to hang out with me in between uploads, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, it's Terror underscore Kruger. I'll leave it down in the link below as always. Um, I always try to post different looks that I do. Um, I don't, because I don't always film all my looks, but I'm always posting like all my makeup looks on Instagram. Like you can guarantee I'll always post every look I do on there. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and follow me. Um, smash that like button, hit subscribe, uh, share this video. I would really appreciate that. But until uh, the next time, I'll see you ghouls later.